Pam Bennett Wahlberg is a zoologist who has studied meerkats in their natural habitat. In 1989, she founded the Fellow Earthlings Wildlife Center, specializing in the care and preservation of meerkats. We are going to go visit with some meerkats now. They are from Africa. They're from a very large area, but for a very limited area, the Kalahari Desert in southern Africa. The nonprofit center is located 25 minutes from Palm Springs in Morongo Valley, California. That's a long way from Africa, but the conditions are perfect here, providing a lifelong home and sanctuary for these rare animals who come from accredited zoological parks. And we picked this property because it's, it's very reminiscent of the Kalahari Desert uh, in climate, temperature, rainfall. Climate is one thing, but keeping the grounds in top shape falls to operations manager Ron Martin and other dedicated volunteers. And uh, we do everything from changing light bulbs to raking pine needles and electrical repairs, new construction, just about anything that is required. People often ask why they stand up on their hind legs so much. It's to get a better vantage point of their world because they're seeing something. When they're on all fours, of course, they're not seeing as much. To listen to Pam's knowledge on meerkats, it's no wonder she was recruited by Disney Studios as a consultant on the movie The Lion King for the meerkat character Timon. She was also the spokesperson for Animal Planet's Meerkat Manor and has made numerous radio and TV appearances on behalf of these little rascals. Who better to hold the title Fellow Earthlings Wildlife Center Director? The, the official title is a director, but the official real title is maid and waitress for the meerkats. A waitress that knows her customers. For example, what do they like to eat? Meerkats eat bugs, grubs, crickets, beetles, and worms. Yummy. And if you think they make good pets, think again. Wild animals don't make good pets. They look perfect, they're pocket size, and they're cute, and they're adorable. But uh, I'm, I'm so pleased that they are so stringently regulated, because I think if they weren't, people would inadvisably uh, get them as a pet and then find out that they're not good pets, and uh, they end up in pretty sorry situations that way. They're even illegal to have as pets in South Africa, where they're, they hail from. That's right. See that digging? Well, that could be your couch. And speaking of a couch, now, if he could only remember where he buried that Time Warner remote. Seriously though, happy meerkats like Bara and Nona here would not be possible without charitable donations. It, it's not only the food, it's the electricity to keep them warm in the winter, uh, outside heat lamps, it's uh, our licenses and permits that um, have to be paid. Uh, veterinarian care, and we, it all goes to the animals. We have no paid staff. Helping with that effort is the Meerkat Adoption Program. Through the Meerkat Adoption Program, you can get to know these little critters up close and personal. You can photograph them, play with them, even feed them. Uh, for a hundred dollar tax-deductible donation, uh, a group of four or fewer can come and have a private visit with the meerkats, go into the enclosure. Uh, most people are not going to have the time uh, or the money to go to Africa, unfortunately. So here they can see them up close and personal. For more information on the center, look up fellowearthlings.org. From Morongo Valley, this is Glenn Ross.